It's coming from down there. Right, do any of you remember Lewis Clark? You know, the guy who supposedly said that he was banned from every single abandoned location on Earth. I mean, in case you don't know who he is, he's the UK's version of J Station and Eli So Cray and every other f that makes content similar to this. Now, initially, no one really said anything, but then he got called up for it by one of the big boys, aka Mimi Lewis, and he made a well thought out rounded up apology video. You know, that wasn't really B tech or trashy standard. However, the video right off the apology video is titled someone tried to kidnap me whilst exploring an abandoned mental school gone wrong like it's really clear this guy has never learned from his mistake the first video is called girl found trapped in box in abandoned house we saved her not clickbait of sensitive nature, mate, no one who's watching Lewis Clark videos is ever gonna be worried about sensitive nature. You know, the same guy who's uploaded videos such as we found a security guard tapped to a table in an abandoned storage unit, not clickbait. And he's got a thumbnail saying mock, you know, the most threatening word in the English dictionary. Then the next scene is basically Lewis showing where he would have ended up if it weren't for YouTube. <laughs> The whole thing just looks like a really MTV Cribs tour. But then, just before we're about to dive into the main action, Lewis gives us a very big warning. <laughs> Most of these warning clips, they usually have like some really generic voice saying warning, this video contains flash photography or whatever. But instead, Lewis decided to put in some really <laughs> low quality scream in the background. I mean, it sounds like the scream was recorded on a really <laughs> old VCR player. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, what's that? Yeah, I know, I watched it. Is there... What is it? There's a camera. What? Right, the way he reacted to discovering a camera sounds like he was pretty pissed off over discovering it. Is finding expensive electronics inside of abandoned houses like a really common occurrence for Lewis or something? And guys, it just so happens that everything in that room is dirty as <laughs> Apart from the camera and a clean jumper that the camera's on. But we've got to trust Lewis here that he definitely found it and did not place it there. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? Hello? It's coming from down there. It's coming from down there. Lewis has just heard some screams downstairs and now he's about to activate his hero skills. But the first barrier he has to get through is a very rusty door. Swear to God. It's not opening. Kicking. That has got to be one of the weakest kicks I've ever seen. Can you imagine if Lewis was a fireman? Half the victims would have probably died by the time he'd broken down the first door. But then he realised he can't kick down the door, so Lewis decides to use his 140 IQ brain to do the next best thing. It's because the bolts are crossing him up here. It won't open. Look. Oh, okay. Well, let's try there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Fuck's sake. One second. Right, that's got to be the most casual response ever to someone screaming for help. I mean, Lewis, he doesn't sound like a worried hero trying to save her. Instead, he sounds like a really bored waiter trying to bring her food. She's crying. Why are you in a box? Hello? Huh? Someone took me. Huh? Someone took me. Someone's put her in a box. Someone put you in this box? Why is Lewis acting so surprised? I'm pretty sure no sane human being will go out in the middle of nowhere, find some abandoned house, and then lock themselves inside of a box. And also, that's a pretty f dumb question, considering that the box has been locked from the outside. We need to get her out then, Lewis. So, um, right, okay, one second. It's got a lock on it. Oh no, guys, they've just discovered that this really brand new box that has absolutely no dart on it has a lock on it. But do not worry, because they're about to find a solution. It may work. Oh, there's fucking. Take the things off. Undo the fucking screws. Right, this must have been one of the kidnappers ever. Not only does he leave his victims in a really thin plywood box, but he also conveniently leaves a brand new screwdriver and a brand new camera for the hero to discover. Then afterwards the girl gets discovered and the rest of the video is pretty pointless and dead. But next video we're gonna look at is probably one of the most ridiculous ones. And this video right here, it's almost like a video series. The first of its kind is called We Found a Girl Buried Alive in a Grave While Exploring, Not Clickbait. And the video right after that is 
Discord. We saved a girl who was buried alive. Terrifying, not clickbait. I'm sorry, but just look at the thumbnail. That's got to be the most bored expression I've ever seen on someone being buried alive. Like, this must be a weekly occurrence to this girl. We are heading in. Right, man, what's with the overly bass booster dubstep playing in the background? This is not the kind of music you'd expect from a scary video talking about someone being buried alive. It sounds more like something you'd hear from a COD montage from about 2010. Can you imagine if horror films were like this? You know, you're watching The Ring, and just as a girl is about to come out of the TV screen, all of a sudden you can hear Skrillex's bangerang playing in the background. To be honest, I wouldn't actually mind watching that, thinking about it now. Fuck, wait, help me. Help me get her out, help me get her out. Come on, come on. Let me get out. Now this is definitely a different kidnapper and how can you tell this is a different kidnapper? Because in the first one, the kidnapper conveniently left all the things Lewis would ever need to save the victim's life. Unfortunately in this one, Lewis is forced to use his own greasy hands to dig the victim up. But the other video we're gonna look at is probably the craziest one. We taped a fake security guard to a chair after he broke into our house. Not clickbait. You're not, do you want to see in this cupboard? Oh no, what are you doing? I've never seen anyone look more excited to show off a hostage victim. I mean, his mate literally looks like he's about to show off a wild animal that he's just caught. <laughs> no way, is that a joke? That is not a security guard. They've literally captured Gollum. That's got to be the most awkward place ever to store a hostage victim right underneath the boiler. And what was this supposed burglar looking for? Gold, jewellery, phones, maybe a TV? Oh no, he went for something way more valuable. You know what I was looking for? What? SD cards. No. Wow, an SD card. Holy sh**. Out of everything, he wanted to nick a tiny little SD card. I mean, that's like going to a Chinese buffet and just eating a tiny bowl of plain rice. But you know, this wasn't Lewis's only confrontation with the security guard. Oh no. And the title of that one has got to be the most ridiculous one. Boxing versus the fake security guard. Time to settle this. Knocked out, not clickbait. Come on, Mr. Security Guard. Right, who the f calls the security guard Mr. Security Guard? He's literally describing him as if the security guard was some TV character. Now, at the start, they find a security guard inside this weird abandoned building, which has got some really questionable graffiti. And then all of a sudden, they decide to tie him up next to a lamppost on an empty road. What the fuck are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Fuck off. What the fuck are you doing, you <laughs> prick? Fuck off. What the fuck are you doing? Right, can you imagine if a family was driving by on their normal day out and then all of a sudden they noticed some guy wearing a Tesco security guard high-vis vest being tied up to a lamppost whilst also wearing the world's <laughs> Donald Trump mask. Then right next to me, you've got this guy in a balaclava wearing a super bright red bomber jacket along with some super cheap Lonsdale boxing gloves. <laughs> That would definitely be an experience to tell the grandkids. Then they decide to have a boxing fight and instead of counting the number of hits and punches like any normal boxing judge, instead they literally judge the fight by the amount of cuddles and f me this fight goes on for way too long, like a good 5 minutes. I was taken and beaten and nearly burnt alive, not clickbait. Hello, Lewis, what's happened to you this time? What is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the one and only Sam Rumble, whose YouTube channel will be linked down below. And I'm also Right, Lewis, mate, you really need to tell your mate Sam to stop being an absolute knobhead whenever you do your intros. Because right now, mate, you really don't look cool. You just look like a really awkward sign language teacher. <laughs> you're not allowed to move, neither am I. I don't fucking care, bro. I don't know what you saw in my blood clot face. Ready? Bro. Blood clot face. Listen, mate, you're not from Kingston. You're probably from Exeter or Torquay. I have no idea why you're speaking like that. And at this point, they're not even exploring. They've literally just been spending the last five minutes chucking random shit at each other. Go on, Sam. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Moving so much. Uh, you, don't you dare touch me. So they've just discovered an attic, a pitch black attic, and they're sending Sam right up into the attic on his own. You know, the same Sam who couldn't even control himself right during a YouTube intro. And then all of a sudden, Lewis decides to completely abandon the exploration and starts dumpster diving in a nearby rotten garage. We have a garage here. Wait, Sam, don't you need a new hoover? I got you one, bro. I'll hook you up, bro. That one's like Ferrari red. Well, at least we now know where Lewis gets most of his merch from. Bro, there's someone here, bro. Who the fuck is that? Who? That guy over there, bro. What, in the mirror? Yeah. That's you. 
Nah. Right, listen mate, let's get realistic here. You're pretty much the equivalent of a background backup dancer in all of Lewis's videos. And right now you've destroyed any little dignity you had left by attempting the shittiest form of comedy that anyone with a functioning brain has ever seen. And the rest of the video is pretty dead. And when I mean dead, I don't mean he's discovered any dead bodies, no. By that I mean it's the most boring, stale filler footage you've ever seen. But when Lewis is not dumpster diving in a garage, he really likes to be a hostage negotiator. We saved her dog from being buried alive. Very emotional, not clickbait. But basically, the attacker used Daisy's phone to phone me up, knowing that I'm her boyfriend and boyfriend is the contact, and ask me to come and meet him in the woods and swap Daisy for the dog. Right, I don't know about the value of dogs and humans in the black market, but for some reason, the value of dogs have really skyrocketed out of nowhere. Because these guys are literally willing to swap a girl for an ugly, lice infested, inbred pooch. I mean, you've got to be a f***ing melt to accept that deal. But have no worries, because Lewis has got some backup plans up his sleeve. There was three nooses there. No, the it's Oh, it oh, has fallen. Oh, oh. Only one of them. Only one of the nooses is here. That's gotta be the this attempt at colouring in blood. And also, those nooses are totally not the nooses that have been used in the previous videos. Yeah, because obviously I want one person free-handed if, if Mark's ready to be tackling people. And yeah, you, can take the, you can take it today, Mark, yeah? Wow, Lewis is really planning ahead with this one. I mean, he's even coming up with hiding spots for all of his mates, you know, just to guarantee that the attacker can never escape. Now, let's see these absolute, super secret, invisible hiding spots. We've got Sam here, which is quite apparent. Really, Mark? After that intense induction by Lewis, this is the best hiding spot you could come up with. At this point, I bet people outside the forest can probably see you by now. You know, Mark was probably that kid in primary school who would almost always be guaranteed to be caught out first in any game of hide and seek. But then the kidnapper finally arrives. Right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Daisy, Daisy, fuck! Shit, bro! Oi! Oi! Jesus, yes! Get him, get him! Get him, get him! Hold him down, Mark! Hold him down! Oi, yo! Fuck off, bro! That's got to be this this kidnapper ever. He's literally released the dog instantly. And I think the worst part is when Lewis's mate actually tackles the kidnapper, Lewis isn't even helping him. Instead, he's just standing there talking over them like a really <laughs> UFC commentator. But anyways, guys, what do you think of Lewis? Do you believe in any of his videos? Actually, of course you <laughs> don't. I mean, you've got to be pretty brain dead to believe in it. But tell me in the comments down below. Remember to hit the subscription button and the like button. See you guys. It was Cozy here.